So you want to grow your hair out, and that is what I'm going to talk to you about today. Coming from a professional hairstylist. There's a lot of videos out there from people who aren't stylists, and they're just throwing a bunch of information up. I don't even watch the videos, to be honest with you. I just see them, and I go, oh God, here we go again. But in order to grow your hair, there's a few things that you need to understand, you need to communicate, and that's what I'm talking about today. So first of all, take where you are starting. What haircut are you starting from, your current situation, your current haircut, and what do you want your hair to look like? Then you have to understand patience is the most important thing when it comes to growing your hair out. Hair usually grows between uh, a half an inch to three quarters of an inch a month. Some may grow a little slower than that, some may grow quicker, but that's kind of the range. So if you want your hair to be six inches, eight, nine, whatever it is, it's gonna take that amount of time to get there. It could take a year to get the haircut that you want. So once you understand where you're at, where you wanna go, what kind of haircuts that you want, you could also use this very helpful tool, Rock Paper, right? The Rock Paper app, which I am an investor in, I'm part of, the links to where you can download the app is in the description. And basically it's a free app that allows you to save images to your phone. It's like your own personal assistant and your own style card that you can keep on your phone, that your barber or your stylist can scan in and see all the information you're looking for. You can write notes in it. You can save your own photos. You can choose from a database of lots and lots of hairstyles. And it's such a great modern way to express what you're looking for in ways that maybe you feel shy when you're talking to your professional. They can read all of it. You can enter in. It's like, like I said, your personal virtual assistant for your own style, your own hair style, and it's free. And thousands of people now have downloaded it and are using it, and I'm so happy about it. But that's one option. What do you want your hair to look like? And the next thing, right, is realizing your hair, you have a buzz head, for example, you want your hair to look like this. Do the math, hey, you know? It's gonna take months and months and months, maybe even a year, to get the hair to where it's six inches long, eight inches long, you know? So another thing is a lot of people are so hooked on measurements of how long the hair should be. Just grow your hair until it's where you want it to. Forget about how long it is, right? And forget about telling the, the barber or the hairstylist, I want my hair to be four inches. Or Just, you know, show them visually. I want my hair to be up to here, okay? That means when they're cutting your hair, they'll be able to say like, okay, you want here, your hair is here now, and you could say, yeah, you want it to be here. So you can visually see how much longer the hair needs to be because sometimes even me as a stylist, I don't know how long, you know, two inches, two and a half, four or five, I get kind of lost with that and I'm like, uh, I don't know exactly, oh, but it makes sense if you say my hair is here, I want it here. I go, oh, okay, that's fine. Because some of us are just, we go by feel and it's a lot easier to comprehend that way. So focus on, you know, just a visual. Or when you go in, I want my hair to be here. I want my hair to be here. That's the best way to do it. Or again, photographs. Photographs of what you're looking for. Now, the biggest question I get all the time is, I'm growing my hair out, should I get it cut? How often should I get my hair cut? That all really depends on you, and it depends on the person or professional that you're going to. Now, I can cut someone's hair to grow it out and get it where I want to be in a matter of like, say three months or five months. I can cut hair to grow out into a certain style. Now, can everyone do that? I don't think so, but there's a lot of people who can. And that's, about, that's all about the quality of the person you're going to. How skilled are they? How knowledgeable, knowledgeable are they? So if you're going to your stylist or you're going to your barber, you could say, you know, I'm trying to grow my hair out right now. I feel like it's really, really thick in through here. What's the best option if I want the top to grow, but I don't want the sides to be so bushy and so heavy? Like, what do you suggest I do? If they know what they're talking about, they can then say, you know what? I could actually work this length in through here, keep the length, and really taper down the sides in through here so that as it grows out, you actually can come in less, right? You don't have to come in every five weeks or six weeks. 
we can come in in three, four months from now because I know that as this grows, it's gonna grow exactly how you're, what you're looking for based off of the picture you showed me. This will be about down to here. This will be here too, but this will be the longest point and it's gonna look so much better as compared to just trimming it up. So you have to express to them you know, what your hair is currently doing, what you don't like about it, and then they have to come up with a solution to help you get your hair to where it needs to be. Again, not everyone can do this. If you're going to a barber or going to a place and you're spending $10 for a haircut, $5 for a haircut, and their goal is to get you in and out in 15 minutes, chances are, you know, it's not gonna happen. You may get lucky and find someone super skilled, but I take an hour, at least, for most of my haircuts for stuff like this. And, you know, it's pretty complex. And anyone who's watching, you know, who I've, I've cut the hair before, I put a lot of work into the haircut. I'm not even taking really many clients anymore, to be honest with you. But I'm, I put a lot of work into it because I want that haircut to grow out really, really, really well. That's it. I hate to say it, but, you know, it comes down to being patient, seeing where you're at, where you want to go, finding the right person to cut your hair, having them shape it in a way that it grows out properly. You can also just keep growing it and growing it and just wing it. And sometimes your hair will just end up looking great. Experiment with different hair styles. That's another thing. You know, experiment with how you want your hair to look. Like maybe slick it all the way back. Maybe try a side part. Maybe have it come down towards the face. Just play around with it. Use different products. Maybe instead of using a gel, use like a, like a cream a hair paste, like my grooming paste or a hair clay or something that you can change the style up so that you feel like, you know, you're growing it, but you're also trying and experimenting. Use code YouTube20 for 20% off at shop.thesalonga.com and also free shipping on orders over $50 in the United States. Thank you and I'll see you soon.